What's up everyone, Tom here from toolswithtom.com. I'm going to take you through today another awesome Excel formula that all you marketers out there can use. And this one is very simply the LEN formula. And what this allows you to do is it's a function that essentially when you put it into a cell, it allows you to then count the number of characters in a cell that you choose. So what I've got uh, as an example of how we're going to use the LEN function is I've got an example of potentially let's say we're doing like a Twitter schedule and we know that Twitter we're limited now to 140 characters it's a little bit more since they they recently updated it however let's just say we're still working with 140 characters and we can have to make sure that all of our tweets are doing that and we don't want to have the pain of going into Twitter and checking them every time before we then add them to our schedule so you can do this all in one place by using the LEN formula so let's just come up with an example of a tweet. So it could be, I am the very model of a modern major general of information, vegetable, animal, and mineral. Bit of Gilbert and Sullivan there. So say this is our example tweet. So we've put out all the different tweets that we want to do. So we could add another one down here as well. That's legit too, guys. Make sure you do subscribe. <laughs> um, so now that we've got our, our tweets in there, and let's say we want to work out, all right, say I did you know, 10, 15 of these, and I want to make sure that all of them are going to fit within the constraints of the Twitter platform, I can use a very simple function for being able to work this out. So all I need to do is in my adjacent cell here, in B, B2, I'm going to press on equals, I'm going to write in len, so L-E-N, that's the formula that we want to use. Open up the brackets, and we just need to add now some text that we're going to check how many characters that piece of text is. So let's just say it's this one here, tweet, go through in here, and then if I close that one up there again, I can then work out the character count of that one straight away. So it's telling me that one's 92 characters, so that's going to be totally fine for me to use. And once again, if I want to include this across a number of different tweets, so let's just quickly come up with some other tweets as well. use that as an example and so I wanted to drag all of these ones down all I need to do is in the bottom right here click drag down and then I can work out the length of each of my tweets this last one I've just added in there you can see that that one is too long so then I would have to have a go of just simplifying that down to ensure it fits into my character count which now by making a few changes you can see that that's automatically updated and that's ready to go. So this is gonna be really useful for doing things like AdWords copy if you just wanna have a go at doing multiple copies in bulk and not sure if the lengths are going to be okay. This is a great way of being able to plan that out. Great for tweets, great for things like if you like to use short subject lines that don't get cut off by clients like Gmail and whatnot, you can use this as well. But it's a really useful, very simple function that we can all go about implementing straight away. So that's pretty much it for today, guys. Uh, make sure that you subscribe and stay tuned for the next series, the next video in the series of Excel for Marketers. Thanks again.